The Warmer RD75 packs a lot for such an affordable price point. Now this keyboard was sent over to me by Warmer for my honest review and that is exactly what we're going to do. This keyboard does have two different versions with two different price points. There is the standard RD75 and the RD75 Pro. The RD75 standard version comes with a mirror glass weight finish, a 4000 milliamp battery, no RGB, and a polypropylene plate. Now this one will start as a price point of 89 US dollars. And for the Pro series, this one has a brushed stainless steel weight an 8000 milliamp battery it has rgb and uses an fr4 material instead of that polypropylene plate that it has on the standard and this one will start at a price point of 109 us dollars on their kickstarter inside the box you get the keyboard itself a usb-c cable a keycap and switch puller some extra switches but other than that, this keyboard is rapid disassembly, so there are no screws, which is great to see, something you would be more familiar on on the Cycle 7 or now the Cycle 8 keyboard that I reviewed recently. This is a wireless and wired fully aluminum keyboard that also supports QMK and VIA. Now this has support for Mac and Windows. Pretty much it checks off all the boxes a lot of people had with other keyboards I reviewed, whether it's Mac and Windows support or the fact that it doesn't have QMK or VIA support. This keyboard has both of those things. The aluminum they're using is not as high quality as something you would find on a cycle keyboard for example, but I wouldn't say it's super rough to the touch and the edges are smooth and clean. The switches they included do kind of color match the keyboard I was given and they are linears and pre loop The keycap quality is double shot cherry and something to point out is the PCB is hot swappable south facing but it does have flex cuts which i personally am not a big fan of another thing i'm not a big fan of is the fact that it does come with plate mounted stabilizers they are pre-lubed and don't have any rattle but i would have really wished to have seen some really good screw and stabilizers thankfully though the pcb does support screw and stabilizers if you did want to install them at a later date now this is using an fo4 plate and it does unfortunately have flex cuts as well so i'm not a big fan of that usually flex cuts in keyboards make keyboards thinner sounding another thing this keyboard has is the fact that it supports two different gasket mounts the long gaskets and these small gasket bump ons that you can also put on when it comes to the foams included it does have case foam plate foam and PE foam pre-installed. I'm not a big fan of all these keyboard manufacturers pre-installing PE foam as it kind of removes any difference in sound signature compared to other PE foam keyboards. So I personally would remove that. Before this sound test, I'll keep it in just so you guys know exactly what you would get right out of the box. When it comes to the sound signature, like I mentioned before, the PE foam kind of eliminates any uniqueness this keyboard could have. It does sound higher pitched or sort of similar to Legos, so it might sound great if you've never had a keyboard with PE foam, but considering I've reviewed a lot of keyboards that sound very similar to this one, because of that PE foam, I'm not a massive fan. In the flex department, it doesn't really have a lot of flex, probably because of that case foam, so you could always remove that. But the flex cuts, even though they kind of ruin the sound signature, in my opinion, they do also benefit you in the flex department. So it has its pros and cons. Overall, I think this keyboard has a lot going for it. It's at a great price point. It does have some flaws, but I think I could comfortably say that this is probably the best budget aluminum keyboard we have seen on the market yet. So I'll be leaving a link to the Warmery RD75 in the description below, but let me know what you guys thought about this keyboard in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.